Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from Starkle.tv. Where have you been? Well, welcome back. Uh, today we have just a little quick video showing you how we can tween the tint or color of a text field without affecting that text field's drop shadow. Uh, here you'll notice my bad example where the text is changing color, but also the drop shadow is turning that maroon color too and it looks horrible. And I ran into this little situation on a project recently where I had a bunch of dynamic text fields on the stage and I wanted them to change color when you rolled over them, but they also had drop shadows on them. Well, if my text was inside of a movie clip, it is pretty easy to just change the color of a text field and then add your drop shadow to the parent container, which might be a movie clip or a sprite. But in this case, these are just plain old text fields. Uh, not inside of anything else. So this dynamic text field here, you'll see that I am accurately just changing the color of the text without affecting the drop shadow. Uh, so what we're going to be using is the text color property of a text field and also tweening that with the hex colors plugin for tween max. So two little things to discuss. First of all, let's look at how this file is built. Again, Let's go actually to my uh, this one guy here. It is a tech dynamic text field, and you will see that this dynamic text field directly has, should have set this up earlier, um, a little bit of a drop shadow on it, and so does the good text. So the text fields have drop shadows directly on them. So when I go to tween the tint of this text field, it's going to be changing all the contents of the text field, meaning the text, and also the drop shadow. Let me go over to my start file here and in this file right here only the uh, top text is changing its tint and we're gonna make the good one work really well. Okay so in this file let's go to my actions and you'll see that we're doing just a very simple tint tween of the text field. So that of course is tweening the color of the text and also the drop shadow but I want to get just to the actual text color. And fortunately for us, in ActionScript 3, there is a text color property on text fields, which allows me just to change the color of the text. So let me go to, without doing any tweening, let's tell good text that its text color is going to be equal to uh, 0xff1234, and that should give our text a very bright red color. So you'll see here that I changed the text color without affecting the drop shadow. Now what I want to be able to do is to actually tween that text color property. So to the rescue we have the hex colors plugin part of tween max. Hex colors is automatically activated in tween max. If you're using tween light you will have to and click right here to see the activation code. Uh, but for us, let's just go to the example right now. And you'll see that there is a gradient setup that has two properties, a left color property and a right color property. And when I hit tween, you'll notice that the left and right colors are in fact being tweened. So here in this example, a gradient is being tweened. And it might be a little complex for some beginners to see all this code here. There's a colors object that has a left property and a right property. And then tween max is calling the hex colors plugin to tween that left property and the right property. And then on update, it's calling a function that renders a gradient using those new tweened properties, left and right. So what we're going to do is use the hex colors plugin just to tween the text color of a text field. All right, so let's go to back to flash and I'm just going to bust out my cheat move right here. I already did this. Let's just uh, copy out this little line here, paste it up here where we all can see it. And here you'll see that I'm telling tween max to tell the good text text field to take one second and by using the hex colors plugin the property we're going to change is called text color that's the official AS3 property on a text field so let's get rid of this 
And now we're just going to change it to yellow. We'll repeat a hundred times, yo-yo, and we'll have a one second repeat delay. So just test this out. And that's good. Debug mode. All right, let's just close that real quick and do that one more time. Don't you love it when that happens? I do. All right, so here you'll see that using the hex colors plugin that we're able to target the text color property of that movie clip. Think of the text color property just like you would any other property of any other object in ActionScript. Um, again, if we weren't using hex colors, what we would do, you know, I could say, hey, let's change the X of this to be, you know, 400. All right, so now I'm just moving the chain tweening the X property. But if I want to change that color value, again, it's going to be the hex colors plugin to the rex rescue, and we need to tell it what property is being changed. All right, so that's the simple fix right there. Now, if you don't want to use this plugin, you know, and you're doing things sort of the old fashioned way, um, if I go to text tint alt, it's absolutely 100% acceptable to have a movie clip on stage and then inside the movie clip you can have a text field and you can tween the color chain, the tint of that text field and then also put a drop shadow filter on the container clip. But if you were like me, in my example where you don't have your individual pieces of text inside of movie clips or sprites, you know, hex colors is the solution. And right here in the actions for this file, you will see that I'm telling the movie clip to add a drop shadow filter. We're doing that again with the tween max plugin. And then we're also telling the label text inside of there to change its tint. So this is how I traditionally do things if my text is inside of a movie clip. Um, but in that example, I showed you that it doesn't necessarily always need to be. You can directly put drop shadows on text fields and independently change the color of the text. All right, so that's the lesson for today. Have fun. I got some other things in the pipeline and uh, keep up the great work, guys.